Hello everyone, you're on to Holiday Options with Maureen. Today we'll be making the guava juice. I actually got to know about this from a friend. But what really intrigued me about this juice is its numerous benefits. Guava juice can actually be used to control blood sugars. It makes it very good for diabetic patients. It's rich in antioxidants, it's rich in polyphenols. It's also rich in a lot of minerals and vitamins. In this video, we'll be making guava juice in two ways. I know you can actually put a lot of sugar to sweeten it up, but that reduces from the effect you want it to give when you're preparing it for people that are diabetic. So in this particular issue, we are preparing it two ways so that you can have it for your kids. They can still enjoy the minerals and vitamins it produces. And for adults that are trying to cut down on their sugar intake, and also for those that are diabetic, I use just plain tiger nut milk to sweeten it up a little bit without adding any sweetness. Come with me as we make this, I know for sure you will like this. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe as well if you like this video. Thank you. And so for our boabab juice, made in two different ways, we'll be needing some boabab, some cow milk, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of powdered milk, brown sugar, and some tiger nut milk. So this is how I made my tiger nut milk. I simply poured some fresh tiger nut into the blender. I added on enough water to cover it. I turned on my blender to start blending and now I just finished up grinding. Right here I have a clean bowl with a colander over it. And I'm going to be placing a muslin cloth over it like that. And then the tiger nut pulp goes in. So you just apply some pressure to get the milk out. And then right there in your bowl is your tiger nut milk. It's just as easy as that. And that's what we'll be adding on to the boabab juice. So we're going to commence with our boabab juice. And first things first. I'll be rinsing up my boabab. This is because I got it from the local market and I sense it's a bit dusty. But if you get some clean boabab, you can, you can skip this step entirely. If you're rinsing out under the tap, you have to be very fast with it because you don't want your boabab dissolving in water. To rinse this out, I just simply poured it into a bigger bowl and I'll be topping it with water as quickly as possible. Like I say, this has to be a very quick process because you don't want to dissolve your boabab in the process of rinsing it out. You don't want to lose all the goodness in the boabab. And there we have it. I'm going to be pouring out this. And that's our clean boabab now. We'll be commencing with this right now. So right here we have a clean pot and I already rinsed out boabab. Now I'll be adding the boabab into my clean pot. And then we'll be topping that up with some water. So right now I just place this on heat. I will show you what next to do with this. So right before it starts simmering, I'm going to use my whisk to start loosening out the whitish substance that is coating the seed, that's the guava powder itself. And you can see the mixture is already beginning to thicken because the white stuff is gradually pulling out from the seed. So I'm just going to be doing this at intervals. I'll come and whisk from time to time. And once the mixture starts simmering, just before it comes to a rapid boil, or a rolling ball, I'll be turning off my heat. So that's what our mixture looks like just before it begins to boil. Remember we are cooking under very low heat. And I'm going to give it a stir so that you can see what's happening at the base. That's the boabab seeds that has been collected with the whisk because most of the white substance has been washed out into the fluid. And that's what you have right there. So right now I'll be turning off my heat as you can see, it's just beginning to boil. So I'll turn off my heat and I'll let this cool completely. Then we'll come back and save this and we'll commence from here. So our boabab juice has cooled down. 
and we'll be pouring it through a strainer now to save it up. So we have a bowl and the colander placed on top. So I'm just going to be pouring this and using my whisk I'm going to move it around. So I'll be doing this in two batches. I'll get rid of the seed and then I'll do the second batch as well. So right now I'll be rinsing off the seeds with just a little water and I'll strain out and then I'll still pass this boabab juice into it through a fine strainer so I can get rid of whatsoever residue that may be left in it. Now we'll continue with the sieving process. So inside the colander you can see a fine sieve and I'm going to be pouring my boabab juice into this. So I'll use my whisk to quickly move it around and that's the residue. You can see in here we have the pure boabab juice. So now I'll be commencing with making the boabab in two different ways. So the first way of making our boabab juice it will just be more like the traditional way and this i'm making for the kids hours i won't be adding any sugar or any milk i'll be adding the tiger nut milk we made initially for the recipe so for this i'm going to be adding on some liquid milk first the liquid milk goes in then a little bit of powdered milk little bit of sugar cup of vanilla essence so I'm going to give this a really good whisk so that's what it looks like by, by the time you're done with this I always like to sweeten a small batch because you can always sweeten the bigger batch by the time the kids are done with their own batch so I'll be pouring this into a container now. The nice thing about this boabab juice, especially the one that is sweetened, is that it tastes exactly like vanilla yogurt. It tastes really great. And right now, we'll continue with the second batch. And with the second batch, all we need is just our freshly made tiger nut milk. We don't need any sweetener for this. The tiger nut milk is enough to sweeten this. And just in case you're the type that likes something sweet, you can always add on a little bit of sweetener. So I'm just going to be adding the tiger nut milk. So you can see how beautiful that looks. I'll be pouring this out in a jug and I will store this so that it chills in the refrigerator. So this is how I like to serve my boabab juice. I usually like to serve it cold, preferably with some ice. I hope you give this a go and let us know what your take is on this. Please, if you've not subscribed, don't forget to do so by hitting on the subscribe button. Thank you.